Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about the equation of the tangent line. To determine the equation of the tangent line, we need to recall the following concepts. For the slope of a line, a line L passing through distinct points with coordinates x sub 0, comma y sub 0 and x, comma y has a slope m equals y minus y sub 0 divided by x minus x sub 0. Point slope form. The line passing through x sub 0, comma y sub 0 with a slope m has the equation y minus y sub 0 equals m quantity x minus x sub 0. We will be needing these two formulas in solving or finding the equation of the tangent line. Moreover, these are the steps in finding the equation of a tangent line. To find the equation of the tangent line to the graph of y equals f of x at the point P with coordinates x sub 0 comma y sub 0, we need to follow this two-step process. Step 1. Get the slope of the tangent line by computing m equals the limit of y minus y sub 0 divided by x minus x sub 0 as x approaches x sub 0 or m is equal to the limit of f of x minus f of x sub 0 divided by x minus x sub 0 as x approaches x sub 0. The difference of this formula to the previously presented formula for the slope is that we need to incorporate the concept of limits to find the slope of the tangent line. For the second step, substitute the value of m and the coordinates of the known point of P with coordinates x sub 0 and y sub 0 into the point slope form to get y minus y sub 0 equals m quantity x minus x sub 0. Let us have this first example. Find the equation of the tangent line to y equals x squared at x equals 2. For us to be able to solve for the slope, we need to find first the value of y sub 0 by substituting the given value of x to the function. The resulting coordinates will be the coordinates of point P, which is the point of tangency of the graph of F and the tangent line. Since we have x sub 0, which is equal to 2, then f of x sub 0 is equal to 2 squared. Hence, 2 squared is equal to 4. Therefore, the value of y sub 0 is equal to 4. Thus, the coordinates of point P that is the point of tangency are 2 comma 4. Now, since we already have x sub 0 and y sub 0, we can now look for the slope. The formula for the slope of the tangent line is m equals the limit of y minus y sub 0 divided by x minus x sub 0 as x approaches 0. We will be substituting the values for the x sub 0 and y sub 0, which are 2, 4. Moreover, for the y here, based on the given, we have y equals x squared. So therefore, this y here will become x squared, y sub 0 will become 4, and x sub 0 will become 2. Moreover, x sub 0 here will also become 2. Thus, we will have the limit of x squared minus 4 divided by x minus 2 as x approaches 2. However, remember as we studied limits, when we substitute 2 on our denominator here, the value of the denominator will become 0. But then, before substituting, if we are having a rational function, we need to look if this can still be simplified. Remember that the numerator can be factored as x plus 2 quantity x minus 2. And with this, we can cancel the common factor x minus 2. 
Therefore, we will have limit of x plus 2 as x approaches 2. Now, from here, we can substitute 2 to the variable x and solve for the limit of the function. Therefore, we will have m equals 4. Using the values m equals 4 and the point of tangency with coordinates 2, 4, we can now solve for the equation using the point-slope formula. y minus y sub 0 equals m quantity x minus x sub 0. Plotting the values of m, x sub 0, and y sub 0 on our formula, we will have y minus 4 equals 4 quantity x minus 2. Multiplying 4 to the binomial x minus 2, we will have y minus 4 equals 4x minus 8. Combining the constants which are negative 4 and negative 8, we will have y equals 4x minus 8 plus 4, which when simplified, we will have y equals 4x minus 4. Thus, the equation of the tangent line to y equals x squared at x equals 2 is y equals 4x minus 4. Let us take another example. Find the slope intercept form of the tangent line to f of x equals square root of x at x equals 4. Again, let us solve for y sub 0 given that x sub 0 is equal to 4. We can solve for this value when we substitute 4 on our given function. Therefore, f of x sub 0 or y sub 0 is equal to square root of 4. Simplifying square root of 4, we will have 2. Therefore, the coordinates of point P, that is the point of tangency, are 4, 2. This will also serve as our x sub 0 and y sub 0. Since we now have the coordinates of the point of tangency x sub 0, y sub 0 to be 4, 2, we can now solve for the slope of the tangent line using the formula m equals the limit of y minus y sub 0 divided by x minus x sub 0 as x approaches x sub 0. On this formula, we will be substituting square root of x to y, 2 to y sub 0, and 4 to x sub 0. Also here, x sub 0 will become 4. Thus, we will have the limit of square root of x minus 2 divided by x minus 4 as x approaches 4. In evaluating limits, we can substitute the value of c to our given function here, but then notice that when we substitute 4 to x here, the denominator will become 0. With that, since we have here a radical expression and we want to eliminate the zero at the denominator, then what we need to do is rationalization. Since the operation minus is outside the radical sign, then we need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the numerator, which is square root of x plus 2. Multiplying the numerators and the denominators, we will have x minus 4 divided by x minus 4 quantity square root of x plus 2. Since we have a common factor, x minus 4, we can cancel that out, giving us with 1 over square root of x plus 2. Now, on this expression, notice that when we substitute 4, to the variable x, the denominator will not be equal to 0. Therefore, to evaluate the limit of this function, we can now directly substitute 4 to the variable x, giving us with 1 over square root of 4 plus 2. Square root of 4 is equal to 2, hence we will have m equals 1 fourth. Therefore, the slope of the tangent line is 1 fourth. Using m equals 1 fourth and point of tangency with coordinates 4, 2, we can now solve for the equation using the point-slope formula. 
y minus y sub 0 equals m quantity x minus x sub 0 by substituting 1 fourth to m, 2 to y sub 0, and 4 to x sub 0, giving us with y minus 2 equals 1 fourth quantity x minus 4. Multiplying 1 fourth to our binomial x minus 4, we will have 1 fourth x minus 1. Combining the constant terms which are negative 2 and negative 1, we will have y equals 1 fourth x minus 1 plus 2. Simplifying negative 1 plus 2, it will give us the final answer y equals 1 fourth x plus 1. Hence, the equation of the tangent line in slope-intercept form is y equals 1 fourth x plus 1. For our last example, show that the tangent line to y equals 3x squared minus 12x plus 1 at the point 2 comma negative 11 is horizontal. In here, we do not need to solve for y sub 0 since the point of tangency 2 comma negative 11 is already given. What we need to do in this example is we need to show that the tangent line to this function at point 2 comma negative 11 is horizontal. Recall that horizontal line has zero slope. Thus, we simply need to show that using the point of tangency 2 comma negative 11 and the function, the slope will be equal to zero. Therefore, at the end, we should show that m is equal to zero. In computing for the m, we need to substitute the entire function 3x squared minus 12x plus 1 on y, negative 11 on y sub 0, 2 on x sub 0 here and x sub 0 here. So we will have the limit of 3x squared minus 12x plus 1 minus negative 11 all over x minus 2 as x approaches 2. Simplifying our numerator here, we will have 3x squared minus 12x plus 12 all over x minus 2. Notice that when we substitute 2 to the variable x at the denominator, it will make the denominator equal to 0. So with that, what we need to do first is factor the numerator 3x squared minus 12 plus 12 to become quantity x squared minus 4x plus 4, and this is still factorable. So when we factor x squared minus 4x plus 4, it will give us x minus 2 times another x minus 2. So from here, we can cancel the common factor x minus 2, leaving us with 3 quantity x minus 2. From here, we can now substitute 2 to the variable x and evaluate the limit of the function. At the end, notice that the value will be equal to 0. Thus, the slope of the tangent line is equal to 0. As we have first claimed, remember that horizontal line has 0 slope. Therefore, indeed, the tangent line to the function 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 at point 2 comma negative 11 is horizontal line. And its equation is y plus 11 equals 0 quantity x minus 2, y plus 11 equals 0. So the equation of the tangent line is y equals negative 11. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For our next video, we will discuss about the definition of the derivative. Thank you so much for listening and see you on our next discussion.